Hey, what's going on everyone? Rob here, welcome to the channel. First ever video, me sh kind of showcasing my Toyota Land Cruiser low, like super simple, no build setup. I don't want to have to spend a lot of money on things because who knows like how far this will go, but if y'all are interested, come tag along and I'll show you my whole journey. All right, y'all, I'm going to start kind of working from the back and then sort of progressively start going towards the front of the Land Cruiser. And all right, so one of the first things I wanted to kind of mention is like, so Land Cruiser has sort of like a split tailgate. So to be honest, one of the main things I really like about this truck is that it has, you know, like a little bench that you can sit on. So you don't have to really spend a lot of money on getting a lot of tables to be able to put out and kind of wobble and just kind of hope it stays still. The Land Cruiser comes with this little platform that you can use to kind of meal prep or just kind of hold things or whatever. So honestly, all I have right here is a little igloo ice chest for right now. I just want to spend as little money as possible while also being able to support myself throughout like a two, three day weekend. And so I have like a little cooler I have in the back. Let me show y'all. So right here in the back, I have a little plastic container that carries essentially everything I need. So, you know, my cutting board, my utensils, you know, some foil, some food for Mara, and things like that. Just put it all in here, so you're kind of just ready to go, and it's really that simple. And as far as like where Mara sleeps, so she actually sleeps right here. You can see that. She spends a lot of time in the back of the Land Cruiser, and it's pretty cozy feeling, you know, because she's kind of boxed in. And I think dogs sort of just like that, you know, feeling of being concealed, so it really works out for her. And then as far as like how I can like cook stuff while being like kind of mobile and on the road I have like a topic for another day, but this is the BioLite camp stove and It's kind of a genius design. So you feed wood into here So you can see that and it's honestly all it is is just a battery powered fan that actually can like charge your phone So it's like a power bank. So it's like a power bank that actually has a fan and It spools up and you just light something in there and you can start putting wood in there and then it even comes with like an accessory set that has like a camping stove on top like a grill or even like a kettle that you can boil water in and stuff like that so it's super cool i'll show you all in another video though it's it's awesome i made some picante the other night it was like one of the best picante steaks i've ever had because i got some like post oak around here in like central texas that's all we have is like cedars and a post oak and honestly it was amazing so i also got a little speaker right here so in case they get bored and i want to kind of blast music out in the middle of nowhere Got some water to kind of sustain you over, the, over like a period of like a weekend or something. One of the things I really like about this setup is that it actually, in my opinion, kind of takes a lot of the space within the Land Cruiser and allows you to kind of keep a lot of it while being like super practical and reversible. And I'll show you all what I mean by that in just a second. But right here, like you have plenty of space, you know, if you want to call it that. But you know, you could sit here, you can have a meal, you could, you know, pop up a desk or something, whatever and it's still like pretty comfortable. You don't really feel like you're crammed in. You're basically just kind of sitting here, you know, like you would otherwise if you didn't have any kind of camping setup. And let me kind of show y'all what I mean by all this. So here's the other side. So if you come into here, you know, that's the other side I just showed you. And here is the three inch memory topper, mattress topper that you can lay in. And I'm about 5'10 or so. And honestly, you could lay in this and be really comfortable, depending on if you have enough blankets and whatnot. All right, so let me kind of show y'all laying down. I have my boots on. I'm going to be trying not to put my feet on any of the bedding, but let me just show y'all. You feel like it's pretty level. It's super comfortable. Your feet are supported, and you're not really riding up against the back of the seat, really. If I were to kind of lay flat, still you have plenty of room. And honestly, this setup right here is the most comfortable setup I think I've found. I've tried laying down all the other seats and everything, but to be honest, it just felt really awkward. And there was, there was like a mismatch and leveling and it just too many gaps. It was just really weird. And I honestly didn't want to have to remove all the seats because that's actually a, like a really big process in the Land Cruisers. And so I was like, I just got to figure something out. And I kind of just stumbled upon this and it, it worked out. I'll do like a quick zoom in so you know what I'm talking about. So there's the pillow. For the support there's the three inch memory foam mattress and then there's my little headrest and it honestly works really well all right so this is like the front of the cabin if you will and i like kind of resting my head right here because i've sort of switched it back and forth meaning like having my head up here having my head on that way and i think just due to the elevation for whatever reason having the configuration where i have my head sort of propped up down this way 
is by far the most comfortable. And so it's kind of propped up like by a little pillow right here. It's kind of funny that these are like super firm pillows that I always hated and I never really knew what to do with them until I kind of figured this out. It worked out perfectly. I just put my head right here and all the valuable stuff. So I have like a DJI drone, like one of those cinematic drones. And those are pretty expensive. It's insured and everything. But let's say I want to have like some valuable property that I'm carrying around with me. It actually works out really good because you can either stuff like your drone, my drone for example, like right here. And I could also put like a duffel bag. So if I need some extra space that I don't want to use up in the end of the cabin where Mara is, then I could just put it right here and it actually works out really well. And so I also have my little sun visor because here in central Texas it gets super hot and you know, you definitely need to be able to reflect that sun away and kind of keep things cool. And so at night, to be honest, like I'd say the only reservation that I have in terms of like sleeping up front like this, meaning like having my head kind of exposed is like if I were to start urban stealth camping or even if I'm out in the middle of nowhere, I don't really like the idea of anyone just kind of being able to see in. These windows are tinted. So I'm gonna have to kind of figure out if there's like a privacy screen that I could put here that if someone were to be looking in, they wouldn't be able to see what's going on. And so the, the rest of the cab is actually tinted pretty well, so I don't have to worry about that, but it is something to consider. Let's just say like, I don't wanna have to be lugging around a mattress with me all the time. One of the other things I really like about this is that the mattress isn't so thick to where you can't fold it. In fact, it's, since it's like a mattress topper, you can actually fold it and like kind of put it in the back and I'll show you all. See, it takes like two seconds to be able to fold. You put it back here. See, then it's gone, and now you have like a little recliner. So it's literally that easy. See, in that kind of a genius design, so the Toyota engineers must have like had this fit in such a way to where if you're like kind of waiting around for a long period of time, you could just sit back and enjoy the beautiful scenery, the awesome Land Cruiser leather. And so, as you can see, it fits pretty compact. You don't have to have like an actual mattress or anything that you have to lug around 24 seven, so. Anyways, y'all, I really appreciate y'all watching, and if y'all liked the video, I really would appreciate it if y'all would subscribe. I'm trying to do this kind of full-time, and, you know, hopefully these videos kind of resonate with you. So if y'all want to, let me know down below what y'all think, what kind of videos y'all want me to be making. I'm down here in Central Texas, so I may be driving around filming, like, camping videos and stuff like that. Who knows, maybe I'll start branching out outside of Texas or, or whatever, but... Anyways, y'all, I really do appreciate it once again, and thank you again for watching, and as always, y'all take it easy. See ya.